Hello again. Um, I was gonna give you a full warning of the traffic that you would be hearing, but I mean, that was kind of your warning. <laughs> um, I, it's, it's, I'm like literally dying. I mean, I shouldn't joke about that, but like, I'm like literally like burning alive, and like, it's so hot, and like, I can't handle the heat, so like, I have the window open, and like, my hair up, and like, wearing like, literally no pants and like just like loose really loose tank top because like i'm dying um <laughs> this is the most dramatic person ever um but yeah <laughs> it's hot and i'm trying to sleep because it's like literally midnight but like i can't and then very well likely to do the heat and also like literally i took a nap that I don't remember how long it was, but I think it was about an hour, maybe? It was a long nap, okay? Like, jeez. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, but there's a reason that I kind of want to talk, though, is because, like, I'm scared. Not unusual, but, like, <sighs> I don't know, I feel like this fear is like unwarranted maybe or maybe it is warranted i don't know but like it's of myself and i have like this like fear that i'm gonna go back to how i was before because um like i don't know i i feel like i've been getting caught up in like the whole novelty of being like a youtuber because like i've gained like I think I have like 23 like subscribers now and like it didn't bother me before because like before like I had like literally like three subscribers and they were like my three closest friends and like I was completely fine with that like they were like my peeps like I was like happy with that and then oh my god I wasn't even counting the subscribers I wasn't even counting the comments because like honestly like the comments kind of made me uncomfortable because like I was just thinking like there's some random people watching me like huh this is a comfortable feeling. <laughs> and so I kind of just like shied away from it. I was like, um, like, let's mm, not think about that. And then, like, gradually, I think, like, subconsciously, I kind of like gained confidence from like the fact that, like, I know that, like, people like enjoy my virtual company, I guess you could say, because my videos are long and, like, technically I'm talking to you. So, like, company with I don't know and like so like I don't know like I guess I kind of like gained confidence in that and then like have started to like I don't know like notice like certain videos of mine like have more views than others and then I'm like starting to kind of like lean more towards those kind of videos like even though like literally all of my videos to me are like the same because like literally all I do is talk about myself but like, I don't know, and, like, it's weird, and I'm just, like, no, stop, like, girl, like, why, what are you doing, like, be yourself, and, like, I am being myself, but, like, I'm, like, certainly leading to, like, other things, because, like, I think that, like, it's better, and, like, people will like me more, and then I'm just reminded of all the times when I was younger where I would, like, pretend to be something I'm not to, like, fit in with people, and, like, because I was weird as a kid. Like, I was quiet. I was a bookworm. Like, I would randomly bow in. Like, literally, like, start singing. Like, I would randomly start singing. I would make weird noises. Like, I was I was a weird child. Like, I was very quiet sometimes. And other times I was, like, screaming my head off. Making weird noises. Singing. And, like, running around. And, like, bit people and like was fighting people and then other times I was really shy and reserved and then reading my book and then just like walking around alone so I was like a weird kid like this is one of the things that I distinctly remember like even when I was younger like people were always like oh she's so cute but then like once they got to know me they were like oh my god like your kid is weird and like it was just something that like I kind of like grew used to and it was like something that I was always kind of like uncomfortable with so like I would like try and hide it and then like 
um, like, I kind of just, like, developed, like, this, like, kind of, like, weird, like, fake, like, persona, I guess you could say. And, like, I was kind of, like, friends with everyone. And then, like, I don't even remember it that well, though, because, like, it's kind of just, like, a very big blur. And then I feel like that's kind of where, like, my compulsive lying began. And then it just, like, grew further as, like, my mom started, like, getting weird, too, because, like, her mental illness. And like her addiction and then her addictions for all I should say and then like <sighs> traffic love cities love love living in the city like it's a great experience <laughs> um but like I guess that's where my compulsive blank started and then it just grew worse and like as I said before, like, it wasn't until middle school that I stopped lying. And even then, like, it wasn't until, like, I literally graduated that I started telling the truth. Like, just a little bit. And, um, like, it was, like, from then on that I, like, like, forbade myself from lying ever again. Like, I was, like, scared to lie. Because I was, like, I'm gonna go back to, like, how I was where everything was, like, fake and, like where, like, my life was a lie, and, like, I was, like, scared of everything, and, like, blah, 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 and then, so I was, like, I kind of have this, like, fear of lying, almost, and, um, I feel like with this channel, like, I was just, like, this is just a new step for me being more honest with myself and with other people and, like, sharing my story, even though my story is not that interesting, um, I don't know, and, but, like, I feel like now, like, the novelty is, like, getting to me and like I'm starting to like want to like entertain more than be myself and like that's scary to me because like it's like I'm like afraid that I'm gonna like go back to like lying and like being that fake person that I know I'm not and like when you're fake like and you like not yourself like you're lying to yourself too and like you lose yourself and like you don't even, like, know who you are, and, like, it's kind of scary, and, like, I don't even know who I am now, like, I don't think anyone truly knows who they are, like, I think we just kind of, like, discover parts of ourselves, and, like, what we like, what we don't like, like, who we love, who we don't love, like, why we act this way, and why we don't act this way, like, sometimes, like, we figure it out, and sometimes we don't, sometimes we, sometimes some of us figure it all out, sometimes some of us figure, like, barely anything out, and, like, it's just how it is, and I feel like I go through, like, a constant roller coaster of, like, figuring one thing out and then finding out that that's completely wrong and then figuring something else out and then like it's completely wrong as well and then like thinking I know nothing and then figuring out that I know something but then that thing is taken away too. Like I feel like everything happens to me and then it's taken away from me and like I'm in this like constant like on edge fear that like anything good that happens is going to be taken away and anything bad that happens isn't actually real and like I don't know, like, it's really weird and, like, creepy and, like, it's, like, kind of, like, scary and, like, I don't, like, understand and, like, it's, like, I don't know, like, this channel is, like, starting to get to me and, like, I'm just, like, I don't know how to feel and, like, honestly, like, I've been thinking about doing this video for, like, hours on end and I started actually watching, like, this, like, tons of inspirational videos of, like, people who are, like, disabled and, like, doing these amazing things and, like, I was like, yeah, this is gonna hype me up, this is gonna be, get me inspired to just start my video. And I kept waiting and waiting, watching hours and hours of footage of these videos of these amazing, inspiring people. And I'm just like, where's my inspiration? Like, why am I not feeling inspired? Like, why do I not feel the urge to start a video with, like, my inspiration speech? Like, where is this? And I've just, like, realized, like, it's not coming. Because I already know what I need to say. I'm just afraid to say it, and the problem is that it's me, like, I'm, like, afraid to be me, like, I, like, I don't, like, know how to be myself, like, I don't, like, it's, it's, I'm constantly changing, and, like, I don't know how to follow it, and I don't know how to express it, and it's terrifying, and, like, I'm scared of myself. And, like, scared of, like, what I'm going to do and, like, what I'll turn into and, like, how I'm going to change and, like, what's going to happen to me and, like, how I'm going to affect 
everything around me. And like, I just feel like, <sighs> I don't know. I like, I don't know how I feel. Like that's the thing. Like it's confusing and scary. And like, I feel like I'm like this all the time. And like, I just like get so like caught up in like mundane things. And then I don't even think about like it. I'm like afraid. I'm like deep down, like I don't like understand like what's, what, what's, what it, what, what, what is me? Like, what? Like, I don't, <laughs> and, um, like, I mean, like, no one, everyone, no, no one, like, ever figures, like, everything out, and, like, everyone's always, like, a little bit confused, but I feel like it's constant with me, and, like, I don't really know how to, like, react to it, because, like, it's always there so like how am i supposed to cope with it like it's not like something i can can change like it's like i don't really know how to explain it it's kind of like oh okay this is gonna sound even more terrifying but it is honestly how i feel sometimes most of the time but like it's like imagine you're drowning and like morbid um imagine you're drowning or someone's drowning you and they like let you breathe for like 10 minutes at a time or something and like you get to see the sun you get to see the outside world like you get to breathe you're like happy and then 10 minutes later you're like dunked back into the water and like you're drowning and like you can't breathe and like you're really confused and you're struggling you don't know what to do and it's dark and it's cold and it's scary and you can't do anything about it because like you can't do anything all you can do is try and struggle and move but like you can't move either and then you go back up and like you see everything you breathe and then you go back down and it's like constant and like every time you go back up like things change and then you're confused because you don't like know like what is real like is it the dark abyss or is it the constantly changing light like what what is real and like it's scary and like that's what my everyday life is like every day like I wake up and I'm just like what's it gonna be like <laughs> I have constants in my life but like they don't feel real like I don't feel real sometimes and like it's scary because like I don't like know like what I I do like what what is this like it's just I don't know if it's just like me or if it's just like a, like is it a disability or is it just like how everyone is or is it just me like I don't understand like and I'm just like confused and like it's like it happens all the time though and like I think I have it I think I'm like able to breathe freely and then I'm dunked back under and I'm just like I'm confused again like, I, and I'm struggling, and I can't get out. Like, I need help. And, like, there's no one there to help me but myself because I'm all that there is for me. And, like, I don't, like, know what to do. And I feel like I do this. Like, I talk about this all the time. Or, like, I subtly hint at it, and I've written poems about it all the time because it's the same. It's, like, it's always the same. And I feel like it's so repetitive, so I don't want to make videos about it. But, like, it it's something that's always there and like sometimes I'll make videos that are kind of forced because like I want to make videos then talk to the camera and like make content or whatever if you will just talking about mundane life but like sometimes I can't like I it's not it's like it's not something that I want to focus on it's not something that matters to me like what matters to me is that like I'm underwater again like I can't feel I don't know how and um, it's, like, disorienting, and it's, like, terrifying, and, like, I don't, like, I feel like maybe that's why my memories are all fucked up from my past, too, because, like, I've gone, like, as far as I remember, like, I've gone through this, like, my entire life, and, like, it's just, like, mental disorientation of always being dunked under the cold, freezing water, and then getting back out, and then, like, seeing the changed scenery, and then going back under, and then going back up. And, like, that is literally, like, the best explanation that I can give to, like, how I feel, like, every day. And, like, sometimes, like, 
the awareness is like there for a long time sometimes it's barely there at all and then I go back under and I'm all confused again and like I can't explain it and like it's kind of like a weird thing to talk about to people because like they're kind of just like you're crazy like what's wrong with you and I'm just like I don't know like I don't know like it's not like the closest that I can explain it to someone like that I have come to explaining it to someone was one of my like friends in English class that I had and she told me that it's like depersonalization or something which I didn't actually look up I just took her word for it because like I'm kind of scared to confront it like I don't know what to do like I don't know like what if like I confront it and like I figure out like that I actually have like a disorder or something and like what if I need medicine like what if like I have to go to like hospitals and stuff like what if I need therapy like what what am I gonna do like I don't want to do that like I like I just want to be normal but like there is no normal so like I think, above all, like, I'm a, deep down, I have this, like, fear that, like, I've always had this, well, not always, but, like, once I found out that my mom was different, that she had an addiction, and at first I just thought it was, like, addiction, but then I found out later that, like, it's more than just an addiction, she has, like, a mental disability. Once I found out that, like, I grew scared, like, and then as her mental health started deteriorating even worse, like, the fear grew bigger, of, like, am I gonna turn into my mom? Thank you so much, Traffic. Like, love the ambiance you're sending. Um, but, like, this group, like, the fear grew to, like, am I going to turn into my mom? Like, I am her daughter. Like, everyone always says, like, we look just alike. We act alike. We're so cute and similar and blah, blah, blah. And, like, I grew terrified. Like, what if I'm going to turn into her? And I thought this fear was over once I accepted, like, my mom and loved my mom. Because I do. I accept and love my mom. Like, and I don't care. And... But, like, I think that fear is still there, and I think learning more about, like, what is there mentally for me, like, is terrifying because, like, it's something that makes me different and something that I've always kind of, like, tried to hide. Um, And, or not even, like, no one was there and, like, just, like, subconsciously tried to hid. And then, like what if like this thing needs like help and like it needs like professional help and like what if I'm gonna like turn into my mom and like there's that fear again and it's like popping up and like it's just like I thought I was done with it like there's that's another thing with this thing that like you think you're done with it like you think like you're done with like the dark like cold water and then it comes back and you're just like disoriented and confused and scared again and like it's over and over and over and like you can never escape it and like it's like terrifying and like i don't like no else to explain it like it's just like someone's always rising you back up giving you hope and then you dunk back up like down down again and then you get back up again and it's completely different scenery and it's like well that's great like just way to confuse me even more guys like it's great like it's I don't even know how to feel anymore. Like, because sometimes I have this, like, confidence and I have, like, this, like, assuredness, like, that I'm okay. Like, I've got this. Like, I finally, like, found my stable island that I can stand on and I don't need to be drowned constantly anymore. And then I'm dragged back in again and I'm just like, fuck. Like, (laughs) like, again. Again with this. Like, and sometimes it's mild, and sometimes it's just slightly disorienting, and sometimes it's, like, crippling, and, like, I, like, like, totally, like, lost. And, like, it's kind of like someone's toying with me, almost, like, haha, look at this little girl, it's just, we're just gonna dump her in the water and see how long she can survive, and then, or sometimes they pull me out, like, within seconds, and sometimes when you leave, they there for, like, days and like I'm just so lost and like no idea what to do and like it's terrifying it almost reminds me of like 
when I used to live with my mom or like when I dealt with my half brother when he was like abusing me like I almost went into this kind of like shock state and like would like just kind of like ignore everything and like kind of just like would prefer like to stay in the dark and like just like didn't want to be like talk to or anything like I just kind of wanted to ignore everything and like it kind of like everything just was like a blur and like it kind of reminds me of that but like it's more disorienting because like it like back then it made sense because like it had a purpose like it helped me like cope this doesn't have a purpose because like I'm happy like I don't know why it keeps happening and like it doesn't have any like pattern it just like randomly happens and I can't like tell how long it's gonna be and I can't tell like what it's gonna do to me and how I'm gonna change when I come back out of it again over and over and over again and like it's just like <sighs> I'm tired of it but I don't know how to fix it and I'm almost afraid to fix it because like it's just gonna be one more thing that can separate me from people and like normalcy and like just being normal and like having a life and like being like happy even though I am happy and like maybe fixing it will make me more happy but I feel like if I put a label to it and I like have treatments for it like it'll make it even more different and it'll separate me even more from people and like society and like everything and like I really shouldn't care about it but I do and like <sighs> I don't know how else to explain it and then, like I don't even know like and I'm also afraid to explain it to other people because like I don't know if they'll understand like I'm afraid they're gonna like judge me and like be like oh you're fine you're just being dramatic and like it like turns out there's nothing wrong with me and they're just like you're just being a dramatic ass bitch like calm down and I'm just like I can't like it's a thing and then what's worse is like the pity because like I've told people about it before but like vaguely and like didn't really go into that much detail about it and like you get pitying looks and just like oh sweetie like it's probably because of your past like oh and I'm just like <sighs> like just <sighs> I don't want pity and I don't like want your like fucking judgment okay like I just want understanding and I don't want to feel so alone anymore like, it's terrifying. Like, you're just out there all alone and, like, no one understands and, like, it's scary. I'm like, I don't want to have this happen over and over again, but I can't do anything about it and I don't know what to do. <sighs> Tearing up again, like, that's great. Love crying. That's awesome. <sighs> I can't prevent it, and I can't stop it, I can't slow it down. Like, it's not... It could be worse, I guess. Like... This is probably gonna be so offensive, and I'm sorry, but like, I feel like... It'd be easier if I had some kind of physical disability because physical disability is like everyone can see, everyone can like label it and like be like, oh yeah, they have that. And then like physical disability is like they have like treatments and they know you can't control it and like they know that like you can like help yourself and like you can like work through it and sure it's like hard as hell and like. I'm sure it takes incredible strength and like it's so inspiring that there's people like that like who have these disabilities that are so crippling and they fight through it and like it's amazing but they're like a lot of them are physical and like not a lot of people talk about like the mental disabilities like how my mom has and I might have where like it's like you've, you're fighting your own mind and you don't know like when it's like 
going to cripple you and, like, people can't, like, read it like you can a physical disability. Like, they can't just treat it like a physical disability. Like, you have to go through, like, tests and, like, you have to go to, like, hospitals and, like, no one understands because, like, you tell them and they're just like, oh, yeah, that's, like, all in your head. And I'm just like, yeah, it is in my head, but, like, it's still crippling. Like, it's still terrifying. Like, it's, like, it's not, like, a passing, a passing thing. Like, it's, it's, like, it's always been there. Like, I've just kind of ignored it or, like, fought through it and, like, never really shown anyone. And now that I am showing it to people, like, they get, like, all, like, weirded out by it or they judge me and, like, they're, like, and they don't, like, understand and, like, I feel like it would be easier if I had, like, a physical disability because then, like, people would kind of be, like, oh, yeah, this is a thing. Whereas, like, a mental disability, like, you can't really, like, label it so easily with a physical disability as you can as a physical disability. And, like, it's more complex and it's, like, harder to understand because, like, everyone's mind is different. Even if the disability is the same, everyone's mind is still different, so, like, it reacts differently, and, like, it's, like, you know, like, it's, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if it even is a good disability, if it's just me, or if I'll, like, grow out of it, or, like, if it's, like, something that's always gonna be there, like, I have my moments where, like, I, really don't want to like do anything and like what if that happens like when I have kids or I adopt kids and like they want to do something and I'm just like I can't I'm sorry like that's that's not gonna work like I've dealt with that with my mom where she like literally like was like chained to her bed almost and like didn't want to talk to me didn't want to do anything I was neglected I don't want to do that to my kids like what if I have a partner and like they don't understand and like what if like I don't know like I don't want I don't want this I don't want this and I'm stuck with it. And like I don't know. I'm like I don't even know what it is. Like what is what it, what is it? And like what I don't know what it is. I don't know what to do about it. Like I don't want to talk about it because like people are just gonna like hurt me because like it's happened before. Like I've been bullied because of it. Like I'm just like tired of it. But yeah, basically, that's that's what this is, this video. <laughs> it's great, life is great, like, fucking fantastic. Love life. And then sometimes I think, like, maybe I'm overthinking it. Like, maybe this is what everyone goes through. And I'm just, like, so dramatic that I'm, like, making a big deal out of it. And, like, it's, like, not that big of a deal. And everyone goes through it. And everyone, like, have it. Like, every but then I, like, talk about it with other people. And, like, they don't understand. And they're just, like, yeah, you're just being dramatic. And I'm just, like, I don't. Like... <sighs> Am I though? Like, am I being dramatic? Or am I, like, seriously, like, is something wrong with me? Like, do I need help? Like, <laughs> great. Maybe it is depersonalization. Maybe, like, I'll grow out of it. Or maybe it's something that's, like, permanent and, like, I have to take medicine or I have to take therapy for it. Like, I don't know. That's the problem. Like, there's, like, I feel like there's nothing I can do. But like there is something I can do. I just don't want to do it. But like, is it gonna get worse? Cause I feel like it's been getting worse. The more like I've become aware of it, the like worse it's getting. And like, I don't know. Like, it... <sighs> so yeah. Mhm. Mm uh -huh. that's, that's great. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna, like, leave because, like, you're dramatic. Okay, bye.